little late in the game to be introducing them. They're a hell of a lot easier than the vulgars that are sh <coughs> showing up everywhere. Also, hello, zombie. Precisely enough ammo. Porter, come on, speak. Warning. Warning about what? Scan for active pads, let's go. Please select teleport destination. Damn, there's only one choice. Pad one selected. Let me guess, enemies are going to spawn now. Ooh. Oh, a hell knight. I was afraid of that. I'll need to find a way to reroute power to the teleporter. Take the Skytram to the research sector and I'll meet you there. God, I love having this power. I don't love there still being revenants. Not worth it. So where did that Hell Knight go? Matter of milliseconds too late on pressing a D right there. Uh. 
locked. Zombie. There were more of them. Oh well. Okay. What was the last number? One, three, four. And I guess I'll find the PDA around here. Somewhere. Kind of startled me. Now what's down this way? Nothing. All right. Seven one four, got it. Nah, write them all down. I'm sure the audio log will tell us which one is right. Audio log for lab technician Bernard Fresco, dated one twelve twenty one forty seven. As requested by the security division, I have changed the code for storage cabinet 042 to 714. Not sure why it's so important to change these damn codes every time new personnel arrive. It's not like... Uh, never mind. I've cleaned and stored all the equipment in preparation for the upcoming expedition. Hopefully, the next team won't encounter what happened on the previous trip. Man, what a mess. It's no wonder there are fewer volunteers each time. I guess the extra pay just isn't worth it to some people. Admittedly, I'm extremely curious about the entire jump process and wonder what it would be like to join one of the teams. Uh, hell, who am I trying to kid? Even if I was qualified, I'm not sure I'd have the balls to go through with it anyhow. Bernard Fresco, signing off. Chain gun ammo and shotgun ammo. If I remember the text that popped up right, I'd have to, I'd have to agree with old Bernard here. Why was it that important to change the code for that? It's not like there was a BFG in there.
Really? Invisible wall? Come on. There's clearly enough space to at least go a little further. Oh, there it is. Perhaps with the EAX and the volume up a little bit more, that would have been uh, mildly frightening. As it is, uh, not really. Just make sure I haven't missed anything. See what's down below. Ah, the plasma rifle. I wonder if the rocket launcher and plasma rifle show up anywhere else in the game. Or if, you know, the player is completely screwed if they don't think, hey, we should explore this area before I continue. At least I got my tried and true anti revenant gun. You might want to get out of there. Good job, Hell Knight. You managed to do nothing but kill a fellow Marine. And you'd think with how strong those things are supposed to be, they'd be able to at least break the glass. Better de decontaminate the uh, car, I guess.
Just like the last station. Nothing but darkness. Right, somebody's blasting shitty dumpsteps so loud that the floor's shaking. Awesome. I just hope the mic doesn't pick it up too much. gallery. No, I don't think the red lights really help anything. Ah, the main attraction. I'll be taking that, thank you. I'll also be mentioning that I'm taking that after I've taken it. This looks a lot like that little station where the guy with the lantern was. I can hear you, you know. Well, one would assume that you can get in there, because I'm seeing a lot of ammo, a PDA, and that health station. Really? You're not gonna let me read, you skeleton bastard? Probably completely unnecessary to... Never mind. <laughs> 
More enemies are spawning. More of them still. Shit, I am running out of shotgun shells. God, they just keep coming. But I heard one over here. There you are. Is that all of them? 